And of course, Mother Nature taking care of a lot of those leaves right now with these strong winds that continue to blow. We look live at South Haven right now. I've been watching this camera all afternoon, of course, because of the wind and the waves so active out there, especially on the north side of the pier. Uh, but you can see on both sides there, lots of wave action and lots of folks out there actually taking it in with a camera too. Here's a look at some of that high wind and also the heavy rain. These reports gathered by the National Weather Service, so we th say thanks to them. Holland with a 55 mile per hour gust, Ludington at 54, South Haven at 53. Notice these are right close to the lakeshore there, and that's where that wind has been coming in, of course, unimpeded by any structures, any geography. It's just flat, and so that's why it's the strongest there. St. Joseph Pier with a 50 mile per hour gust, and as I mentioned, some heavy rain as well. Hartford with just a little over two inches of rain, and South Haven with about two inches of rain, too. Here's a look at some of those other gusts, too, in other locations. Kalamazoo at 39, so nearly a 40 mile per hour gust and not far from that in Three Rivers in Battle Creek and Grand Rapids. And of course, those winds continue to be rather stout. A wind advisory continues for our Lakeshore counties here as shaded in brown. That goes until 2 o'clock in the morning where gusts could still be up to 50 miles per hour. And so those winds are going to continue to howl tonight. Let's take a live look in downtown Kalamazoo where the wind is also doing a number on some of those beautiful leaves that are really starting starting to pop with color on Bronson Park. We're getting a view here looking to the northwest through those raindrops on the lens there. That's our Peregrine Tower camera there looking off to the northwest with some of that rain in view here on live Doppler radar. That's our 100 mile scan. Now this is Storm Tracker and as we zoom out you'll see this continues to all wrap around this strong area of low pressure here that is just bringing clouds and wet weather and cool air and gloomy skies to much of our region here, but it's going to eventually start to slide off to the east. Temps right now, upper 30s, low 40s. We're about 20 degrees cooler than what's typical for this time of year. That doesn't include the wind chill. It feels like the upper 20s right now in Sturgis and Coldwater and near that in Marshall, Battle Creek and Three Rivers. Feeling like 33 degrees in Kalamazoo. Windy and wet. Could still see a few flurries tonight, but I don't think it'll be problematic. Chilly, a low of 38. Tomorrow, rain likely blustery. And that morning mix is still possible. Those temperatures, though, will be warming up in the afternoon. I think we're going to be making our way up into the low 50s here eventually by Thursday and Friday. In fact, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, still looking like three really nice days. Uh, so we'll make it up to 70 degrees. Right now, that's only something we can dream about. <laughs> 70 and sunshine? Are you kidding me? The only way we can get 70 right now is to turn the thermostat up. Yeah.